is the upper CPAP or pressure setting. P high regulates in inspiratory lung volume and is analogous with mean airway pressure. This image demonstrates the P high phase during APRV. P high is the name on APRV in Avita ventilators, Hamilton ventilators. The servo I, it's also named P high. However, the P high setting on the 840 is actually P pi or the P base setting. So this is referencing P high. And when we want to replicate it on the 840 ventilator, we would set the PEEP H or the high PEEP. Next, T high. T high is the set time for the upper CPAP level or the P high phase. The T high setting allows for sustained recruitment line for improved gas exchange by increasing alveolar surface area. The setting name T-High is used to describe the settings on the Draeger, Hamilton, and McKay ventilators. However, in bi-level, the Puritan Bennett 840 uses TH for the high peak time for naming T-High. Additionally, you can set a frequency. However, this can affect optimizing maximum recruitment and release times. The P-low. The P-low setting sets the lower level of CPAP pressure during the release phase. In the Vita and Hamilton ventilators, it is termed P-low. In the servo I, it is just the PEEP setting. P low is the PEEP. And in bi level on the 840, it's just the PL or the PEEP low or low PEEP. The T low setting sets the time interval for the low pressure or low CPAP phase, allowing for intermittent release and airway pressure. This provides CO2 removal partially unloads the work of breathing related to just pure CPAP breathing. Note the T-low should not be considered expiratory time, as the patient may exhale throughout the entire inspiratory phase. The name T-low is used in both the Draeger and Hamilton machines. This is the T-low setting on a Vita 4 ventilator. However, in the servo I, by vent, T low is termed T peep. And if we look at the bi level settings on the 840, you notice there is no low pressure interval. The operator must change the frequency and the TH to set a T low. And this can become a hindrance when you're trying to precisely set a T low interval on the 840 ventilator. Patient selection. We're going to look at contraindications and considerations, non pulmonary ARDS, and post surgical patients. First, with any ventilator mode, there are considerations and contraindications. With APRV, we're increasing the mean airway pressure significantly, so new modes are a big consideration. Now, some physicians just put um, chest tubes in place for pneumothoraxes. However, pneumomediastinums is a different issue, and you may not want to use APRV in these patients. Next, patients with a history of emphysema. Now you gotta look at why they're on the mechanical ventilator at this time. Was it due to emphysema, or is it due to ARDS? How are their lung mechanics now? Um, do they have a diagnosis of blebs? Now if they do, this higher mean airway pressure can rupture these blebs. So these patients shouldn't be considered for APRV. Um, notice that um, just because they have uh, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, this does not throw them out of using ARD yet. I mean APRV. It's just one thing you want to consider. How's their lung mechanics? Are they very stiff? Um, or is their admission to the hospital due to COPD? Or was it due to something else? So you want to look at that, the patient's medical history. Next, um, their 
about CO2? Are they hypercapnic? Now, APRV can hinder um, minute ventilation. So we might not be able to make up the minute ventilation to blow off CO2 in patients with high CO2. You can allow for permissive hypercapnia also. Um, hemodynamic status. Now, if a patient's on a lot of inotropic medications, um, APRV might not be the best thing because we are increasing mean airway pressure. However, some physicians, um, the patient has very um, large problems oxygenating that what they'll do is, so they can keep them on airway pressure release ventilation, they'll just increase the amount of inotropics they're on. Next, intrapulmonary ARDS. Now, this is not a contraindication. It's just that these patients have a lower success rate in patients with extra pulmonary ARDS. And lastly, rescue therapy. Now, rescue therapy we've got to consider is APRV just being put in on this, these patients as a last resort. And if you're only applying APRV in this way, it turns the mode into a low-use, high-risk modality. So it's not safe for the patient or the staff. Additionally, I referenced a case series from Johns Hopkins Hospital. And what they looked at is um, infants on APRV in the neonatal ICU. And what they found out, APRV was less successful when it was used as a rescue mode. A non-pulmonary ARDS. Um, in these patients, you're going to have the best outcomes. That's because the lung is just more responsive to recruitment maneuvers. So APRV is a sustained recruitment and maneuver, so that's why you're going to have your better um, outcomes. Next, these two examples are on a different use for APRV, and these are for patients without ARDS. The first is reference from Lehigh Valley Hospital, and they had a protocol where they're putting APRV on post-surgical patients. And this was um, for patients that were atelectic, and they were trauma surgical patients with, um, that were in the OR of over two hours and had a PF ratio under 200. Um, what they did is they started APRV within four hours in these patients. And what they found out is the PAF ratio increased by approximately 25% or over 25% after initiating APRV. And this is their standard of care in their, when they're post-surgical right now. The next is um, from one of my old facilities. It was a, a pilot protocol for hypoxemia of unknown origin following cardiopulmonary bypass surgery. And patients with a PF ratio of less than 200 and e adequate hemodynamics um, met this pilot protocol. So the chest x-ray was evaluated for treatment and it was looked to see if it was normal, if they had bilateral infiltrates or focal findings. And um, APRV was initiated in patients that met criteria for a sustained recruitment maneuver. So this is just shows that APRV can be applied in other patients that do not have ARDS. APR, 